my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today is January 31st, 2022. Wow, time is going by fast. And I also just passed up my three months of being on YouTube, so kind of wild. If you've been here, thank you so much. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I'm trying to build a little family over here. Uh, so today we are wrapping up the compassion cure, uh, with illustrated faith. I am one that likes to kind of savor the devotional through the entire month. And I'm going to be walking you through how I journal through this as well as my Bible journaling pages. So let's get started. So here's a quick little look into my journal. I am definitely one that is a visual learner. I like to highlight and underline and make arrows and all the things. And I decided to kick this devotional off with the Bible journaling page in Ecclesiastes. And I started with Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 15, which are the verses, there's a time for everything. Um, this page, I have a Bible journaling process video up for, so I will link that down below. But as we jumped into 2022, I thought it was a great kickoff. And then I also thought it went great with Eliza's introduction. The first subject that Eliza jumps into is compassion and here I'm just showing that I added a couple little extra pieces of ephemera and I focus on the verse that she gave us which was Ephesians 4.32 um, and I love this page. I'm new to interleave Bibling and not early Bibling, interleave Bible journaling, and I love having a full page. So I have some paint in there. I have some ephemera from the kit and some ephemera from some of the other illustrated faith gals. And here I'm just showing you, again, I'm a writer, I'm a highlighter, and I do have a video on how I set this up and how I put this extra page in here. So I will link that as well. But here I just added in some, I added a pocket and these are a couple of the Bible verses that I wanted to focus on. And these came in the Compassion Cure kit or they came in the Maggie Holmes uh, like extra bonus things that you could buy. So I love them a lot. Over there on the left is all the pages that I journaled and then I have my prayer and I'm able to hide that. And that's the reason I flipped it back because I wrote it on the vellum, but then I'm able to hide it over there. And then with this devotional, Eliza gave us some homework for each section. And what I did for this first section was I hid it in a little cellophane bag there behind the ticket. And that little sunflower was a devotional or an ephemera piece from the kit. And it's just kind of locking things in there. And then I can pull out uh, the different pieces of homework. And I just used random pieces that I had from previous uh, Illustrate Faith kits or uh, like the physical kits that's from Word Nerd. So I really like this because those are kind of my personal notes and like if someone wants to get in there and read them, you know, they can, but it takes a little bit. And then that's just a standalone ephemera piece, which I thought was a good idea. So the second subject is courage. And I focused on the first verse that she gave us, which is Joshua 1, 9. And it says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you where you go. And I love this page. I use Tamar Arcelia's new, uh, well, her set for January called Bold Strokes. And I just love it so much. And then I went over there and started adding some uh, digital sticker ephemera on the right hand side and I just kind of love how that all went through and there I'm just showing you you know I added a couple little ephemera pieces to the kit um, or to the devotional and I really just love the quotes that they picked out for this and I also love each section has songs that you can go and download and listen to so very, very cool. And one of the homework pieces for courage was to come up with an action plan on how you're going to be more courageous. So I used this page that was in the middle of the devotional that's empty. And I wrote the Bible verses that I was to focus on. And then there's my little prayer. Um, and this is just all pieces from the physical kit that you can still get digitally and then I also just added in some of the washi tape that corresponded or went with the kit and a couple other things I kind of really tried to follow like what Eliza would do she loves to layer everything and use washi tape so I kind of used her as inspiration 
For the third week, we jumped into the subject of peace, and here I'm just showing, added a couple more happy faces from the kit, a number three just to represent the third week, and on the right there, you'll see that the little mixed tape was one of the ephemera pieces from the physical kit. Again, can get that digitally, and the number three is a Jill Drangshul, uh Alpha, so... Um, really like that a lot. And the Bible verse that I chose here is Isaiah 26, 3. You can catch this live over on Illustrated Faith. Eliza went live with Tiffany, who does social media over there, and it was a really cool live to listen to them talk about it. And there I was just showing how I kept track of all the Bible journaling pages I did so I could easily go back and find them. So that's a good little tip if you do these devotionals. And this is another page. I'm just really loving the Interleave Bible. <laughs> and those real bright pieces are from Brianna Showalter's recent set. And then the hands praying was a Tamara Cilia. And then I just pulled some ephemera that I had. So love, love, love this section. This is another spot that I added in paper. So I added in that vellum. You saw that in the front and now it here it is in the last subject and this is for love. And I just kind of layered everything down. I took pieces from Shauna Klingerman's set and I put on ephemera. Then on this backside, I used paper from Tamara Celia. And again, that's where my homework is. It's hidden in those spots. So I go over here and I show you the different um, journaling bits. She does a prayer, the homework, and then the songs. And then I'm going to come back over here and show you how I did this. This was a little envelope that came in the Kit, and all I did was fold the the portion that you would normally like stick down. I folded that in so I could make that a pocket and use one of the ephemera pieces. And then I also took an extra ephemera piece and made my list, like my action plan for how I was going to work through this. This is part of just being creative and being able to have your journaling pieces in there, but they're hidden to, you know, the average eye unless they know it's there. So um, here we're just wrapping up the end of the devotional. And for love, I decided to use John 316. It was referred to by Eliza and I just, you know, John 316 to me is the Bible verse that everyone is told to learn. Um, so I took the ephemera from the pages or from the kit and then the 316 was from a stencil that was with one of the Illustrated Faith kits and then I added in some Maggie Holmes and that's about it. I am so enjoying my Interleaf Bible. I love the Compassion Cure. I'm sad that it's ending, but I'm excited to jump into something new. So everything that you saw, I will link below. You can still get this digitally. And um, hey guys, if you're not subscribed to me, subscribe. It super helps me get into the YouTube algorithm and I'm trying to reach as many people as possible. And I hope that you're doing well. I know that I pray for all of you. Um, hope you're having a blessed day or a blessed evening. And I will see you all soon. Thank you for being here.